At WWDC, Apple unveiled the updated lineup of the Mac Studio for the year 2023, featuring the new M2 Max chip and the recently announced M2 Ultra chip. While both models provide a robust desktop experience tailored to demanding creative tasks, there are significant differences in terms of price, specifications, and expected performance. The M2 Max chip serves as a formidable processor on its own, delivering exceptional power and efficiency. It is developed to handle resource-intensive workflows with ease, making it a suitable choice for professionals in fields such as video editing, 3D rendering, and music production. The M2 Max chip boasts advanced neural engine capabilities, enabling accelerated machine learning tasks and enhancing overall performance. On the other hand, the M2 Ultra takes performance to the next level by combining two M2 Max chips into a single system. This configuration significantly boosts processing power and allows for even more demanding workloads to be handled efficiently. The inclusion of the M2 Ultra chip in the Mac Studio provides an unprecedented level of performance, making it a compelling option for those requiring the utmost power and speed for their creative endeavors. When considering a purchase between the M2 Ultra and M2 Max models of the Mac Studio, it is essential to understand the key differences and features of each option. By comparing these two models, you can make an informed decision based on your specific requirements. The weight of a desktop machine like the Mac Studio may not be a significant concern for most potential buyers. However, for those who anticipate the need to move the machine frequently, it's worth considering the weight differences between the M2 Max and M2 Ultra models. The M2 Max weighs approximately 2.7 kilograms, while the M2 Ultra is slightly heavier at around 3.6 kilograms. While the weight difference may not be substantial, it could be a factor to consider if you anticipate the need to transport the machine on a regular basis, such as for work or travel purposes. The weight of the Mac Studio primarily stems from its robust construction, high-performance components, and the necessary cooling mechanisms to maintain optimal performance. These desktop machines are developed with powerful hardware and sufficient thermal management to ensure efficient operation even under heavy workloads. When making important purchasing decisions, budget considerations often play a significant role. In the case of the Mac Studio models, the pricing difference between the M2 Max and M2 Ultra versions can have a substantial impact on the decision-making process. The M2 Max model has a starting price of $1,999, making it a more affordable option for those with budget constraints. On the other hand, the M2 Ultra version starts at $3,999, representing a significant increase in cost. The higher price of the M2 Ultra is primarily due to its enhanced performance capabilities, which stem from its dual-chip configuration. When it comes to specifications, both the M2 Max and M2 Ultra are expected to feature impressive hardware configurations, including high-speed memory, ample storage options, and advanced graphics capabilities. The specific details of these specifications would be best explored during the review period, when more comprehensive information becomes available. Furthermore, when comparing the specifications, it becomes evident that the M2 Ultra base model offers additional advantages beyond just the enhanced chip. It provides more unified memory and SSD storage, compared to the M2 Max. This means that even at the base configuration, the M2 Ultra provides a more robust and feature-rich package. Both the Mac Studio M2 Max and Mac Studio M2 Ultra provide a generous array of ports to ensure seamless connectivity and expandability. Both models have a ton of connectors, including an HDMI port, a headphone jack, two USB-A ports, a 10 gigs Ethernet port, and four Thunderbolt 4 ports. The M2 Max has two USB-C connections and an SDXC card slot on the front. Both the SDXC card slot and those USB-C ports are upgraded to Thunderbolt 4 by the M2 Ultra. The specifications clearly indicate that the Mac Studio M2 Ultra surpasses the M2 Max in terms of power and performance, which aligns with the price difference between the two models. Apple's claim suggests that the M2 Ultra offers twice the performance and capability of the M2 Max, while the M2 Max itself is touted as being 50% faster than its predecessor. These performance differentials demonstrate the significant advancements made in the M2 Ultra model, compared to both its predecessor and the M2 Max. According to Apple's statements, the M2 Ultra is expected to deliver three times the speed of its predecessor, indicating a substantial leap in performance capabilities. By evaluating the performance claims and considering the advancements made in the M2 Ultra, it is apparent that Apple has prioritized pushing the boundaries of power and speed with this new model. Creative professionals and users with demanding workloads can anticipate a significant boost in productivity and efficiency when using the M2 Ultra. Ultimately, the choice between the M2 Max and M2 Ultra will depend on individual needs, budget considerations, and the level of performance required for specific creative workflows. 
While the M2 Max provides exceptional power and efficiency for demanding tasks, the M2 Ultra offers a substantial performance boost with its dual-chip configuration. Which mini PC is better for you, is it worth paying more, write your opinion, have a nice day and see you soon.